All right, time for a Zack beginner's guide. I'm going to be showing you how to play Zack in Lower Elos, be consistent with it, and, uh, well, carry, really. Um, yeah, Zack is actually a very good champion to carry with as a tank. He has really good engage. His damage is actually extremely high as well. So this is definitely something you can uh, play around with. The most important thing about Zack is learning his clear. I'm going to be showing you a kind of a dumbed down version of his clear here but he has so much potential when it comes to his clear he's one of the fastest clearers in the game if you know how to do it right because i'm pretty sure his full clear is 305 if you do it absolutely perfectly which is very hard to replicate i will admit but uh yeah it is definitely possible you want to pick up make sure you pick up your blobs to reduce the cooldown for your w if your w is off cooldown you want to use it first instead of the, like not using it at all this way you will uh, save yourself some uh, HP really and also time because I mean clear speed of of the W backhand here helps a ton so you get this smiting something by the way doesn't necessarily matter what you smite as long as you just get the 450 value out of your smite you're good so I could just smite this right here if I wanted to it's easy guide it back pick up the blobs there we go uh. Very good. Take the E here. E onto the wolves. Now there's a lot of ways you can double camp, triple camp, whatever that like stuff. You can kite this into your blue and stuff like that. It's not gonna do that. We can definitely double camp the blue Grom because that's generally fairly easy. Uh, but uh, yeah, anything past that is a little excessive. Get the Q in here, drag this together. Here you have to be careful that you don't actually like displace the blue to a bad spot because if you use your E and it bounces towards the right it will reset and that will hurt in your clear speed. As long as you finish by like 330-ish on this champ you're okay. You can do this much faster but that time is pretty much something you should aim for like right there 330 is fine in this elo bracket and that's like the most dumbed down version of the clear if you don't do a double camp on your blue gromp it will be a very bad clear and at that point I wouldn't really recommend doing it. But yeah, this is the way, doing it this way is fine. This is the easiest version. The reason this is fine is because you don't really get punished in lower elo. Um, in high elo, Zex tend to get invaded. So you want to be as efficient and as fast at your clear as you can possibly be. But in low elo, it's not that necessary to be that efficient. I don't see anything happening on this gank. Actually, it might, unless this is, if this is not warded, I could get in from behind here. Hit the Tarek, get him back with a minion hit. Nautilus wasn't ready for that play though, so I will just be walking away here. I'm just go for a back. Not much else to gain. Alright, so I don't have enough for my Bami, so I'm just gonna go get the CDR boots rush here. If I had enough for my Bami in one go, I'd probably purchase that. Since, I mean, extra damage, extra clear speed. But since I don't, like, having health crystals doesn't really do anything. I'd rather have more movement speed to help me move through my jungle faster. And also CDR is, like, the thing gatekeeping Zack the most when it comes to clear speed as well. Let's see if the cane took my... He didn't. Okay, good. I have the ward on his crux to see if he shows up there. So that's gonna be fine. Can this... I was about to say, can I die to burn damage, please? Also, another thing. Uh, in the past two days, we went from 76% of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed to 75. That is big. If you aren't subscribed, make sure to check. Uh, and subscribe if you want to, of course. If you don't want to, that's completely fine as well. But uh, yeah. Alright, just gonna clear this. Hit level 5 and then probably... We could look for top or mid here, really. Akali is going top, but I feel like a mid play here might be pretty good. Zareth is very immobile. I have three points on my E now, so my, my range on this is pretty good these days. Uh, didn't really get that. Oh, she killed the minion. I actually could have uh, knocked the Zareth into a position where we could go for that gank if she didn't kill that minion. Because I hit the Q on the Zareth and then the minion didn't allow me to... Uh, or the minion died, so it didn't allow me to do anything. I see.
Ah. The man flashes over every wall. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, no. Nope. 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 Thank you. <laughs> okay. That's not a whole lot I'm going to be able to do here. I have passive still, so I can probably try to run. Akali didn't finish him, unfortunately. I got the scuttle here at least, which is nice. Damn, the cane got away with murder on that one. Okay. An ally has been slain. Mm. It's not a good sign for top right there. Did he dive at Trendemir? Is that what happened there? Making sure here to keep picking up blobs when my W is on cooldown. I need to uh, get some clear speed here going here. Barely wasn't able to get the cane on that one. Okay. We were fine in this situation, really. I'll start scaling. This champion is actually like pretty weak early game. The more points in E you get, the easier your ganks become. And later on in like team fights and stuff, you can do a lot as Zac. So having an early game like this where my ganks don't really work out too well is really not that bad. We saw the cane on bot lane just now. Which could mean we might be able to take his blue buff, potentially. The question is whether I want to go for that or not, because my wave positioning on top side really isn't that good to go for a play like that. So I probably wouldn't. Smite that. Hold the E here to go for the Crux. Save myself time to walk around it. Just gotta keep my consistency and my clear for a bit. It is okay. I mean, it, right here we're just like... Not re really getting the best early game. But as I said, it doesn't matter that much. Because you'll be able to do a lot of work later on regardless. See if I can go top here. Kali is putting in work though. This isn't warded. Damn. E in five. Just gonna wait here for a bit. This should be fine. I, I wonder, like he doesn't have this warded, I'm fairly certain, but... It doesn't really allow me to go for a gank either at the moment. We can get into this bush here. As you can see, the E range is pretty long. Interrupted him, beautiful. Hit the Q on the minion afterwards. He's gonna start ulting here. Click on him. Okay, and I should be okay due to passive. There we go. Got out of the third range just fine. I wanted to go up there first because of passive. Just kill him. Just, please. Dude, you have your ultimate. Just go for it. I mean, I know Zareth is going to be there, but it's still like just a one shot on Kane right there. Ah, it's fine. I got the dive on Trendemir, even though he has like ult right there. This could be warded. I'm just going to get the back off anyway. We're good. Uh, Bami into Sunfire. We're going Sunfire. Uh, you can also go Frostfire if you want to deal with like their mobility a bit more. These people aren't that mobile, but also Sunfire just does more damage, and this is a lower rated game, so more damage is generally the solution to the move. So, like, going Sunfire Demonic is, like, pretty much required in low elo for damage purposes. Like, unless your team, like, is doing well enough and you can trust them, I suppose, you can consider not doing that, but... Yeah. Blue's aggro bar was resetting, so I'm just using my E to bounce the blue back towards his side a little bit more. So it doesn't reset. Okay. Trendemir's mid. I'm gonna go bolt here. I feel like it should be fine. I'm, this probably isn't warded due to that dot being there. You can check with Sweeping Trinket. Hit the Q and then the ward. Hold the Tarek here as much as possible, really. Trying to CC him as much as I can. We have good damage. He dies. 
He dies as well. Good dive right there. Get this wave into the turret. We go for dragon. This is good. Need to get in range here. Kane shouldn't really be able to do anything. Zack has pretty good dragon damage uh, due to W. So we should be able to do this at a pretty good pace. But I would still ideally like to see my bot lane help me out with this. Kane is looking. Thank you. Got it. Got exhausted there. Good. Pick up my blob. I probably should have flashed there. I think I got a little too greedy on that one. Uh, I, I thought I was going to be fine. If I would have flashed, I would have been better off. I actually thought he was going to die fast enough, but uh, that wasn't the case. I... I guess misjudged the damage my teammates would be able to do. So I did get punished for not flashing, I got greedy. That's okay. Let's go for Krugs here, get another clear in. I'm probably gonna clear towards both side again, because I feel like ganking for like top lane doesn't really do anything for me here. Mid lane might be possible, so I can just do my top side camps here and then go for that. Use my E as soon as I get in range. It's down. Trendemir took it, I'm assuming then. Interesting. Did I get fully counter jungle by Trendemir? I did, didn't I? Ha! <laughs> that is new. That is something I was not expecting. I will be going for bot scuttle then. Kane has his red form now, which is a little scary. Where even is Trendemir? Let's get rid of the shield. Hmm. Raptors are respawning now, I see, okay. Could check his raptors real quick here. They are in fact up. Oh. I see. Akali? Uh my boy. Uh, is he did he really just actually fully finish the wave before going? That is interesting. Okay, well, I, I guess it took him a very long time to get here. She was in a pretty good position to just move, but I think she just wanted to finish the wave or something, so she actually didn't show up for that play, unfortunately. Is Trenimir just invading me again? I have a feeling he might just be doing that. That's exactly what the man just did. I'd be interested to see if he took my red buff here. He did. Are you... Oh my god, this guy is just going for my camps. That is annoying as hell. I see. Well then. It appears that I'm gonna be losing my camps to the top laner. Or their top laner. I have Sunfire in base, I should be backing. It's a way too big of an upgrade not to go for. Hmm. It's currently looking a little sketch. I'm mostly surprised I'm getting this heavily counter jungle by the enemy top laner of all people. Because I should be ahead of Kane here, no problem. This why this, why do you go for mobility boots? Oh boy. I don't think he dies for this. As long as he dodges the Zeref stun. Just doubt they have the damage to kill the Renekton really. I feel like I could, he could have just gone and killed the uh, Zareth right up. Like he could have literally just hard engaged Zareth and one shot him probably. Seeing how he has Gore Drinker finished and is overall quite strong. All I'm doing right now is just keeping consistency in my camps. Uh, I'm getting a little counter jungled here. By their enemy top laner so it's costing me some efficiency but... You know. I wonder if... Uh, the Nautilus would be willing to help me on this scuttle here. Thank you. What? He smited it just before I wanted to smite. God. That's it, that Tarek. Just land the Q. Wait, did I not land the Q on the Tarek? Okay. 
Got my blobs on the way out. Okay, he's dead. Good. good. Making sure to pick up blobs to regen HP right there. Walk back. Don't need to tank that Zareth Q. I went in. They tried to focus me and the blob regeneration that I got just did it for him. That was just over right there. We get him on range here, I hope. Barely didn't get him on the range on that one. Damn. If my E hit, he definitely would have died there. We just Drake here. Setup there is fine. All we do now is just go for the dragon. Make sure we get this. Can regen most of her health by just picking up blobs. Because you now lose less HP than you gain basically from the blobs. And then when Sunfire kicks in, this dragon is going to die extremely quickly. Smite this. Good. Very solid. Next item here, I'll be going for Demonic. Because I want to get the increased damage. Which is just generally better for this elo range, especially. You can just build straight tank from here if you want to as well. If you have more faith in your teammates than I currently do. But I don't, so yeah. Hmm. Well, at least Renekton is taking my camps now instead of going to the enemy top laner. That is something. Ideally, I'd like to hit level 11 very shortly here. Because, uh, like, getting 11, like, getting overall level power spikes is very good, but also getting the, like, level spikes to get ult increases is obviously, like, extra good. Regardless of the champion you play early. I mean, I guess, apart from, like, Trendemir, because you don't put more points in his ult, but, yeah. I can stand on the wall here and look for a play. E range is pretty big. See if I can maybe sneak in, like, from the side here or something. There we go. Got the engage. Didn't really get the great follow-up I was hoping for, but I still got the engage. That wasn't a snare from this guy, unfortunately. Interesting. I got a three-man engage. Ah, uh, just shut up, Akali. That's fine. I got a three-man engage there with the E, but I had no follow-up, which was very unfortunate. I don't know what they're doing right now. This is just some kind of crazy. I see. Yeah. Gonna start poking him a bit. I don't think I have to be that worried. You do have to be careful though. I'm just waiting for my Renekton, really, to show up for this one. Hit the red, hit the cane. Smite this, good. Make sure to start picking up blobs for HP regeneration here. Nice. The blobs HP regeneration does matter quite a bit there. It's gonna go for Trendemir now. He's too fast. Oh my god. That missed. Yeah, Ghost just kind of creates much distance for him there. Just need to auto attack the Grump now. Get him together. Barely didn't get him with that one. Little depressing, but okay. Wonder if his ult would have actually been off cooldown there. Hmm. My team went for some crazy moves. Like, I went in on mid and I had no follow-up. And then my Akali and my Renekton or something just went for it and died. Which I don't know about that one. I feel like a dive here wouldn't really be the move. So I'm not going to do that. Let's check this out. Okay, that's Terracle down. That's not too bad, actually. Akali flashed for that play, though. Which is definitely not good. That is a good hook right there. That is what we like to see. 
Right, go in on this. Make sure to keep popping W. Keep walking over blobs to regen your health back every time. Focus the Ezreal on this one. Keep picking up your blobs the entire time. You want to be pathing towards your blobs as much as possible because it gives you a ton of HP regeneration. That way you can sustain yourself throughout these fights. Like, I can tank a lot of damage by not just going in completely, but also, like, kind of walking it back a little bit here and there. To uh, make sure I regen my HP. Because you can see, every time I pick up a blob, I gain a, a lot of HP back. And you put down a lot of blobs throughout the team fights. If you play them, like, generally well. A lot of your skills will put down blobs, and then those blobs will regen you for a ton. I feel like Renekton should be able to defend that. Maybe I should have backed instantly. Okay, let's back now. He just needs to get that down. He killed him. Just don't let him get the bounce. The Rift Herald's gonna get the bounce, isn't it? Renekton walked back and it didn't walk into the Rift Herald, so it still got time to prep itself, essentially, which kind of sucks. If he didn't walk back there, the Rift Herald wouldn't have gotten in the third range because he would have started auto-attacking the Renekton instead. And then that way they could have prevented that situation from like actually getting the bounce off. Now, getting that bounce off is actually pretty good for the Trandomir. Uh, so, yeah. It's the mistake. Check this dragon real quick. He could be doing it. He's not doing it currently. I would love to go in on Ezreal here, but that's a little greedy considering the positioning of my own teammates right now. I have to be careful a little bit. I'm gonna go into try here. And just ult. Walk on the Ezreal. We have a ton of damage, so don't really have to worry that much. Good. We know that we're most likely going to be in try. Gonna go for the disc guy. The Ezreal is most likely already dead to his positioning, so I'm just gonna go for an ult for the, for the Tarek here. I'm just gonna go for Drake now. I can't really stop that. Akali's just gonna die, yeah. It's gonna be down to Akali dodging there, and yeah, you know. I need to make sure that I ping that I don't have smite currently. We can try to burst it out. Like e, W there. Try to finish it out. But as you can see, like, that aggression right there, I knew they were most likely gonna be in a try. So we can definitely go for a play like that. It's gonna go this way. He's about gonna be here. Hit this, hit him. Walk with him the entire time here, and he's just dead. You do a lot of damage on Zack, as you can see. The Sunfire Demonic Burn just gets them. I have to be careful here, actually. I do want to go for the Scuttle, if possible. Let me sweep. Trenomir's walking straight through mid. Interesting. Didn't expect him to go for that pathing, otherwise I would have just killed him. I could check Kane's top side here. Tranemir is running towards bot, so I don't think I'm gonna have much of a contest on this one. Because I feel like 1v1ing Kane with that build setup he has shouldn't really be that hard. I have healing reduction already, so. I'm currently just trying to punish the Kane wherever I can by taking his camps. As you can see, my farm here is. Tr I'm trying to be as consistent as possible. There we go. Gonna take a gamble on this one a little bit. I would like to see my team move up a little bit more there after all those pings, but they unfortunately did not. Just gonna go in on this. He's dead, beautiful. That is not a bad hook. This is gonna hit, he has flash, okay that's fine. It was gonna hit if he doesn't have flash there. This should be do nothing. He was on cooldown, so yeah, the flash is his only escape, and he had it, which is fair. Hit him with it. Just hit this guy, and then hit the Tarek to CC lock him as long as physically possible. That's gonna kill. We go for Tarek now. I'm gonna flash on in front. Okay, he hit me this way, and he didn't fly this way himself. There he goes, he's dead, that's beautiful. I am doing a ton of damage in these team fights, like an absolute ton. And this is a good time to just take his, uh, his Krugs here. 
I'll be getting Thornmill here shortly. It's gonna be my armor item for this game. I'm still gonna need a magic resist item. I think the magic resist item is uh, gonna be Abyssal Mask, most likely. I wouldn't be surprised if after this game I've actually out damaged the Akali, for example. Like, out damaged my entire team, basically. We can definitely take a Baron here. Yeah, yeah, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Go, 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 go. I'm doing this. I'm absolutely... Okay, well, we're, I guess we're not doing this. I'm pretty sure the guy had the right guns, so we could do it. Good. That's the engage I was hoping for. CC them together. He doesn't have his ult yet, I would imagine. Yeah, he didn't. That would be a very short cooldown if he did. Get him down. Beautiful. We go this way. We try to cut him off, like, right there. Get him with the Q. Hit the Gromp on it. And he's dead. Good. Beautiful stuff. I'm just keep... I, I basically just keep going forward. Like, you can do so much on Zack and get away with it. And I do a lot of damage here as well. We're gonna look at the after game damage stats in a bit. When this game ends. And I'll show you guys, like, the amount of damage I've actually done. The main problem like you, you experience when playing Zack is just knowing how to do his clear. Like that is a very big part about Zack and a very difficult part at that. So we're gonna go Thornmill here and then the Abyssal Mask is gonna be next as my magic resist item. The reason I like Abyssal Mask is because it um, gives this uh, re like magic resist resistance which ups your damage at the same time as being a magic resist item. So you gain damage from buying magic resist this way. This is a pretty offensive build, but the of the offense of this build is pretty much required. Because if you're building full tank, you're definitely gonna lack some damage to be able to, like, hard carry certain teamfights in this elo. For people that, like, be, whether they be behind or anything of the sort, or they just, just lacking damage and stuff like that. You can make up by, for all that damage by just building a little bit more offensive. And as you can see, I am plenty tanky enough for this to be fine. That's a bad dash for him. Q him, hit the minion so he gets knocked back. And then we just E ahead of him the, here, right here. He's dead. Gonna start doing some nice deeps on the Tarek here. Alright, the Nautilus who prevented me from actually hitting the thing. That's fine. We're gonna go for them, because the Zareth is here with the Ezreal, I would imagine. I missed like an ape, that's cool. Oh, that's a pretty good hit, actually. Time this right, pop the ult, smite the Krog for the extra HP. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go this way, pop the W. I still have turret aggro, which I'm gonna hold for a tiny bit longer. I got my blob. Hit the Ezreal with that. I was hoping the Kane would walk into that as well, but he didn't. Making sure to hit the uh, minions with my with my abilities here, so I get more blobs. This way I can use those blobs to regen my HP. Because you can see I'm getting a lot of health back for every blob I pick up. And that's game. So yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below. If you want to see more videos from me in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Alright, for the damage stats on the end here, we did 24.8k damage, which is... Pretty much the highest alongside Renekton here. We out damaged both Akali and Aphelios here and out damaged everyone on the other team. And this is pretty much due to building Sunfire, Demonic. Uh, you just do so much damage on Zac. Because you have to combine this stat as well. Um, I mean, we could look at some true damage, 1200. Objective damage at 19k, which is solid. Healing done here at 48.3k. That's a substantial amount of healing, but you have to combine this damage stat here with also the damage taken stat, and that is at 37.4k. So not only did I take the most damage, I pretty much did the most damage as well, which makes Zack very, very deadly. And I mean that healing as well, of course. I have self-mitigated damage here at 40k as well, so I've definitely played my role, made the engages, all that type of stuff. Gold earned at 14k, and then for the runes, um, we have some mitigated a thousand damage with this damage dealt did another 1300 with this ally healing for 1200 which is pretty significant revitalized 3600 bonus healing which is huge 
and then Triumph for 3600 as well. So yeah, 